Mom, I have some awesome news. Honey, I already know about the science fair. I sent you a congratulations gift, remember? You sent me a thumbs up, but that's not what I'm talking about. I have other news. Okay. I'm a little busy right now. I have to help your brother with his math homework because you refused to help him. Can't this wait? Mom, I refused to do his homework for him. And I really don't think you should either. Let him figure it out himself. It's the only way he'll learn. Casey, I am not in the mood for this. Congrats on whatever your news is. You really don't want to hear it? I want a trip to Washington, D.C. Wow, that's cool. Thanks, love the delayed enthusiasm. What do you want me to do, scream from the rooftops? Okay, good luck with Max's homework. Now you're mad at me, stop it. You know I'm proud of you. Was it a raffle or something? It was for an essay contest, the future leaders of the US contest. My essay came in first in the state. Well, Arizona is a pretty small state. There were over 6,000 applicants. It'll be a two-week trip in June. I'll get to visit all the Smithsonian's and job shadow one of the congressional pages and have lunch with our senator. Honestly, son, that seems like a lot of validation just for a little essay. It's an opportunity to network and meet people. If I'm going to be a politician one day, this is like my first big step. I wish you'd realize what an honor this is. Oh, uh, totally. Mom, I just got home. Where are you? I wanted to ask you something. Oh, sorry. I thought you were working tonight. Your father and I just took Max to dinner. Okay, what restaurant? I'll drive over. Rodolfo's, but we just ordered and the reservation was only for three. Rodolfo's? That place is mad expensive. Oh, we know. You should have seen your dad's face when he opened the menu. But it was Max's choice. His hockey team got third in the region, remember? So we let him pick. Mom, when did you make these reservations? Last week, why does it matter? Wow, I am not included in anything, am I? You're always at school or work. It's not our fault you're so busy all the time. Yeah, I really shouldn't text at the table. Just have some leftovers, okay? Sure, are you and dad going to take me out to dinner to celebrate my win? For your little essay thing? Uh, sure, we can do Denny's or something. Since you have a job, I'm sure you're okay going Dutch. Yeah, never mind. Don't worry about it. You said you had something to ask me? Never mind. Enjoy your dinner. Casey, you're sulking. I can tell. Please don't. It's just a stupid dinner. I'm fine, really. Forget I said anything. What did you want to ask me? Okay. The essay competition is paying for all the events, but I need to pay for flights and hotels. It's about $1,000, and I wanted to ask if you and Dad could pitch in. But you have a job. Yes, I do. You keep saying that. But you know it's barely above minimum wage, and you know I'm saving up for college. No, honey, we're not going to pay for your little trip. Didn't think so. I can handle it. I'll just take some extra shifts. Hi, Mom. I wanted to check in. The plane just landed. Everything is good so far. Cool. I just saw the Natural History Museum. It was so interesting. Want to see my photos? No, thanks. I just met Victor Parker. He was really nice. He called me a fine young man and even gave me a tour of his office. Who? Our senator, Mom. Oh, but isn't he a Democrat? Mom, I'm having an amazing time in D.C. and I wanted to fill you in on all the cool stuff, but... If you're not interested... Oh, no need, dear. I'm sure we'll hear all about it when you get back. Okay. Hi, Casey! How's college? Stressful, but I love it. My boyfriend and I are going to see Senator Parker at a campaign rally. He remembered me from two years ago, and his assistant invited us to meet him after the speech. How cool, right? Sure, have fun. So, what's up? How's hockey? Mom didn't tell you? I quit. Oh. It was taking up too much of my time, and I wanted to hang out more with my crew. Okay, uh, good for you. I honestly don't know how you were able to work and go to high school. It must have been crazy. 
Yeah, it was, but totally worth it. I can just focus on my studies now. God, you're so boring. Anyway, I have some news. You will not believe it. Remember that DC scholarship thing you won? Yeah. Well, I just won it too! Crazy, right? Both of us winning the same contest? Wow, uh, you're right. I do not believe it. Congratulations. Honestly, that trip changed my life. I had no idea you were even interested in politics. Oh, I'm not. But a free trip? How can I say no? If you're not interested in politics, what did you write your essay about? Ah, just some dumb stuff. Nothing special. But I guess the judges liked it. Max, I'm really proud of you. This is an honor. I know, right? Mom and Dad are freaking out. Really? Yeah, you know them, bragging to all their friends and stuff. They just took me on a shopping spree to get a whole new wardrobe for the trip. Oh my god. Uh, okay, congratulations again. This is big news. If you need help saving up for it, I can give you my old boss's number. He's always looking for part-time workers. No thanks. Mom said she'd pay for everything. Casey, are you still there? Sorry, I've been running some errands for Max. What's up? By errands, do you mean another shopping spree? Do you need anything, Casey? I'm a little busy. Max just told me that he won the Future Leaders of the U.S. contest. I know, isn't it that exciting? Yes, it is, and I'm glad you're excited. But I'm also really angry that you weren't this excited when I won it. Honey, don't be jealous. You should be proud of your brother. He came in second place for the entire state. Are you paying for his trip? Of course, he needs the money. And I didn't? You're comparing apples and oranges. He doesn't have a job like you did. Because he doesn't need a job. You pay for everything. If you'd helped me out even a quarter as much as you do with him, I wouldn't have spent my last two years of high school working 25 hours a week. So you don't think your father and I should pay for his trip? Is that what you're saying? Do you want me to call him right now and say that he can't go because his big brother is bitter? No! Because that's what it sounds like. Tell me what you want us to do, Casey. I just want to know why you love him more than me. We love you equally. No, you don't. And I'm done trying to convince myself that you do. All my life, I figured that you gave him special treatment because he was into sports and I was just the academic one. But he's not even playing sports anymore. And he just won an academic contest, the same one I did, and you are so much more excited for him than you ever were for me. Please tell me what I did wrong. You didn't do anything wrong. Then why is he your favorite? Because he's normal. Uh, Casey, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> Answer your phone, please. I'm sorry. Max, do you have a second? Sure, I'm just playing video games. I've been thinking about your DC trip. I'm really excited for you. That's not what Mom says. Yeah, Mom and I had an argument. I think you understand why. Does it have something to do with my essay? What? No, it has to do with her paying for your trip and refusing to pay for mine. Oh, yeah, that sucks. And I wanted to tell you that I'm really mad at them and I might not come home for a while, but I'm not mad at you. But... Why did you bring up the essay? No reason. Thanks, bro. Gotta go. Wait, tell me what your essay was about, please. Don't worry about it. Come on, if it's the second best in the state, I'm sure it's really good. Nah, it was just some garbage about making better future and stuff. At least tell me the title. I'm not gonna. Why are you being so pushy? Why are you being so evasive? You're the one who brought it up. It's none of your business. Okay... Well, the winning essays are all posted on the competition website, so I can just read it myself, right? No! Don't do that! Why not? I'm not gonna say. Just cool it, okay? And thanks again for your support. You stole my essay! It's not what you think! You logged into my old computer and copied my personal statement from a year ago. You literally took my personal goals for the future and put your name on it. Fine, I might have used some of your stupid essay, but I changed parts of it. Yeah, literally two sentences, and you misspelled words in both of them. That's probably why you got second place instead of first. It wasn't my idea, okay? I didn't even remember you going on that stupid trip. Whose idea was it? I'm not answering that.
Mom, we need to talk. Right now. You're not in the mood to talk, Casey. You're in the mood to lecture, and I'm not going to allow that. Message me when you're in a better frame of mind. Did you give Max my old essay to enter into the competition? I'm not answering that. Because you're embarrassed by the answer. Just tell me the truth. Yes, I did, but he improved on it. He added typos. Mom, plagiarism is a serious thing. I used that essay for my admission into Berkeley. I can call up the admissions office right now and get proof that Max stole the essay. You wouldn't do that. Try me. What do you want, Casey? I don't even know. Maybe we can start with an apology? I'm sorry you're so upset. That is not an apology, Mom. Then what do you want from me? Goodbye, Mom. Wait! Uh Okay, Casey, you're right. We weren't the best parents to you. We didn't really know how to be. You were always so smart and sarcastic. You got the best grades and won all those competitions. And you were never interested in sports or any of the normal boy stuff that you should have liked. Your father and I honestly didn't know how to deal with you. And then Max came and he was exactly the son that we pictured. He was easier and, yeah, we might have given him more support. And money. And money, but we didn't know what else to do. And really, you didn't need the extra help. You were always so focused on your goals, on excelling at everything. And then when you were a teen and came out to us, we didn't react the best way. And it's still kind of hard. You don't think I'm normal. You're not, Casey. You're exceptional. And honestly, I think some of our bad parenting was a good thing because it motivated you to be true to yourself, to be a success. You want me to be grateful that I'm your unwanted child? I want you to understand, Casey. If I had to do everything again, I would have treated you a lot differently when you were growing up. Would you have treated me like you treat Max? Yes. So are you still going to cause trouble and ruin Max's reputation? I don't know yet. I have one more question. What? When Max graduates and goes to college, will you pay for him? That's unfair. I agree, it's very unfair. I worked my ass off to pay for Berkeley because you refused to give me anything, and I want to know what you'll do when Max graduates. Please answer the question. Mom? We haven't thought about it. He might not even go. He's graduating next year. I think he should know if he's going to need to start working. Yes, we're going to pay for his college. But it'll be at a state school, something much cheaper than where you're going. That's all I needed to hear. Thanks for finally being honest with me. Are you going to expose your brother, Casey? <laughs> Stop calling me, Max. I'm not going to tell people that you stole the essay. I wish you the best. So that's it? No revenge? What do you want me to do? I don't know. Mom said you're really mad. Do you understand why I'm mad? Yes. Have you always known that you were the favorite? <laughs> I'd rather just talk through text if that's okay. Casey, I feel awful about this. Have you always known that you were the favorite? Yeah. Do you feel at all guilty? Yeah, totally. Right. Well, that's good enough for me. I'm going to the rally tonight, so I should start getting ready. Have fun this summer. I don't know, man. I think you're plotting something. Why would I do that? Because we've all been terrible to you? No, I promise I won't. Good. My plane just landed. This place is awesome. Thanks again for not taking this from me. I hope there's no hard feelings. None whatsoever. I've gone no contact with mom and dad, and I couldn't be happier. Enjoy the trip. Keep me posted. Okay, will do. We just got back from the Natural History Museum. It was so cool. Did you see the giant T-Rex? Yeah, I took a bunch of photos. Nice. So I'm about to have lunch with that senator guy you were always talking about. Senator Parker, say hi for me. I've told him all about you. Of course. I'm a little nervous. I didn't realize how fancy everything was here. Don't be nervous. It's just a lunch. But there's going to be TV cameras. Really? You didn't do that when I was there. Oh, crap, I completely forgot to tell you something. What? 
When I saw him at that rally, I mentioned that my brother was the second person in our family to win a trip to D.C. And you told him that I stole your essay? Nope. In fact, I told him the opposite. I said that you were one of the sharpest minds of your generation. You knew everything about public policy, and you were destined for great things. Because I impressed him so much on my trip, of course he believed that my brother would follow in my footsteps. So I suggested that you would love to be part of an impromptu live debate about current issues, just you and him. I said that you were particularly knowledgeable about foreign policy and international trade. He thought that a live debate would be too much pressure for a teenager, but then I showed him the essay that you wrote. You know, the one about making the world a better place and thriving off of unexpected challenges. So in about 10 minutes, you'll go live on YouTube in front of his 6 million followers, and you'll show the world exactly how smart and talented you really are. Good luck. I made sure to tell everyone to watch. I'm guessing you saw the debate. You set this up, didn't you? All I did was show the senator his amazing essay. Anyone who wrote something like that must be great in a debate. How could you? That was the most embarrassing thing I've ever seen! Right. <laughs> Absolutely horrendous. He couldn't even remember what country we live in. I need to call Senator Parker and apologize for suggesting it. I will never forgive you for this! I totally understand. If only I were normal. After that short conversation with my mom, I went back to no contact. Both she and dad have tried to reach out over the last year. I've blocked them, but they keep using other people's phones to trick me into answering. I'm not sure whether they want to scream at me or apologize, but I'm not interested in finding out. I'm done with them both. I called up Senator Parker and explained that I had no idea my brother would choke under pressure like that. I was worried he'd blame me for the fiasco, but he was pretty chill. In fact, I'm planning to intern with him over the summer, so I guess another DC trip is in my future. As for Max, he ended up going to University of Arizona, paid for completely by our parents, but he lasted less than a semester. I think he's working at some fast food place now, making less than I did in high school. He called me after the infamous debate, and he finally gave me a sincere apology for treating me like garbage and stealing my essay. I accepted that apology, and I honestly feel sorry for the guy, but that doesn't stop me from sharing his YouTube video with everyone I meet.